As you work with a Japanese knife, it needs the regular maintenance to keep its edge and quality. The quality of your knife will be clearly reflected on your work. And each piece of sliced fish may completely look different. This video shows you how to sharpen your knife in a proper way. The frequency of sharpening depends on what kind of fish you have cut and how long you have used it since the last time you sharpened it. But to ensure its sharpness all the time, at least once a day, before or after your job will be recommended. Traditional Japanese knives are not stainless. This means your knife can get rusty easily, especially when it is stored at the wet area. But it is still not a disaster. The rust will also disappear as soon as you sharpen it. You may have seen a domestic knife sharpener. It is easy to get, easy to use, but the easiest way to ruin your knife. Domestic knife sharpeners are too hard and coarse. They are quite likely to cause tiny individual cutting particles to break off and are completely the wrong thing when it comes to sharpening a Japanese knife. The best way to sharpen a Japanese knife is on a Japanese water stone. There are three kinds of water stone. Arato has a rough surface. It is coarse enough to change the shape of your knife and arato is useful for repairing chips, fixing a broken tip, and making an angle for a sharp blade. Nakato is one of medium rough. Sharpening with nakato makes blade more sharp and good shape and angle for a sharper blade. Shiageto is used for finishing the process. This work is necessary for polishing and keeping its sharpened blade. Each kind of water stone has different use for the sharpening process. First, put the water stones in water to remove air from inside them. You will see many bubbles come out of the water stones. About 30 minutes later, after the bubbles stop coming out, the water stones are ready for sharpening. Prepare your table with a good height and good balance when you are sharpening. Also, it is good to prepare a towel to prevent the water stones from slipping. First of all, start sharpening the very end of the tip of your knife, just like drawing a reverse J letter. Your left fingers must hold the right back side of the sharpening point throughout the process. This is very important to add pressure to properly grind the point. Add power when you pull and release it when you push. Then start sharpening the main blade. It is always very important to keep the same angle of about 10 to 15 degree, which is about two points height between the blade and the water stone. If you sharpen a regular Japanese knife with a single edge, you can just follow its angle. This time, add power when you push and release it when you pull. While keeping an angle and pushing the point with your fingers, Stroke the blade until it reaches the edge of the water stone. Then pull the blade back until it reaches the other edge. This back and forth is counted as one stroke. Repeat it for about 10 strokes until you can feel some slight birds. Then move the position of your fingers to where you have not sharpened yet. Repeat these strokes of sharpening process from the tip to the base of the blade. The more accurate the angle, the sharper will be the cutting edge, but of course also the more delicate. As you stroke your knife, you will see some sludge, particle from the water stone, but you cannot wash them away. This sludge helps you to properly grind the blade. When you're done with the blade side, turn the knife over to grind the other side. This time make sure to put your knife completely flat against the water stone not to make another edge from the wrong side. This is just to get rid of the burr from the previous process. So only a couple of strokes will be enough.
Once you finish the whole process, hit the blade onto your fingernail to check how it's sharpened. If you feel the blade is biting into the surface of your nail, it's fairly good. If it's still slipping, you will need to sharpen a bit more. Wash out the sludge from the knife and wipe out with a paper towel to store it dry. Ideally, you want to grind the water stone evenly on the whole surface. But if you see the surface is getting distorted, you will need to fix it, since the straight flat blade is created from the straight flat water stone. There is another water stone just to fix the distorted surface, but you can also use the general arato to be substituted. Scrub the surface and adjust the direction and power to make it flat. Keep your knife neatly maintained all the time is the most important preparation to serve any kinds of dish. Working with a dull knife, even the most renowned chefs cannot create delicious, beautiful food in a timely manner. Also, if you cut your fingers by accident with a nicely sharpened knife, the wound will cure quickly than with a dull knife, because the wound is cut clearly straight which makes it easily stick to cure. Imagine as if it is just part of your body. Maintain and cherish its edge and quality so that it will last as long as your entire life as a chef.